What's up guys, the Rugby Guru here bringing you guys new, fresh and original videos every single day with over 400 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on that notification button and do like and share the crap out of this video. Right guys, so the first thing that I would change in rugby at the moment is maybe put a stop clock at scrum time. We've seen how, how many minutes go to waste in every single match with the scrums being reset every single time and some teams even use it as a strategy to, to slow down or waste time when they're leading on the clock and I think some vital games have been won and lost based on on teams wasting time at the scrum so if they should put a stop clock just to to restart every single time that they like do a scrum would be a lot better and they would like save massive time as well right the second thing that i would bring in is unlimited replacements now it might might sound a little bit weird but Imagine if you can like bring on players throughout the game at certain game scenarios. Um, say for instance like if there's a 60 meter penalty and you don't have a goal kicker that can kick so far and you bring on maybe Francois Stein that can kick that far and then take him, on, take him off after like 10 minutes again. But yeah, I know it doesn't really sound that... Um, workable but imagine if you can limit that to maybe two replacements um, every 10 minutes you can swap out if you've got a set play move say 10 meters from the try line and you've got like really good players on the bench you can send two on for that 10 minute period and then replace them again with the previous one it it would be really cool guys um, i know a lot of people argue and say it's going to slow the game down but if uh, executed correctly it shouldn't waste any time and it would keep the players fresh and also prevent injuries in the long run because you can take somebody off say after 15 minutes for a rest and then bring him on the half hour mark on again when he's fresh and ready to play again the third thing that i would change in rugby is to have no sin bin um, I'm not a big fan of the yellow card system where you go off for 10 minutes and cool off and then get back on the field. I would like rugby to take more uh, a soccer approach on that one, only like giving a warning with a yellow card. And if they do uh, do it again, then they can get a red card, which could lead to a player being replaced altogether. Because I feel that the red card and the yellow cards just make for a really unfair advantage in the game and it really takes out the the battle of the game completely um, so yeah for the yellow cards I would maybe warn them if they get the first yellow card second yellow card it would turn into a red card and with the red card having the player that trespass being replaced by another player and take no further part in the game but not take them off altogether because I do feel with rugby being a contact sport you cannot go with 14 men against 15 men as it was proven in, in the World Cup when, when Sam Warburton got a red card against uh, France in 2015 and again when Farmer Wiener got a red card against um, Wales in the quarterfinal between France and Wales which I think both teams would have gone on to win if it wasn't for the red cards. Right, the fourth point that I'm bringing on is to bring back the tours. Um, we've seen in, in the past uh, the Springboks play against Neef, All Blacks playing against club teams. So how about bringing back those tours where the All Blacks go tour in Wales or Wales go tour in, in New Zealand? Um, imagine the All Blacks against the, the the Scarlets or the Crusaders against Wales or the Springboks against um, the Hurricanes, all those sort of stuff. Those were stuff that were done in the past, long time ago, even before I was watching rugby really. Um, it's something that was really successful 
and it gave the the ordinary guy an opportunity to play against the All Blacks or the Springboks, for that matter, um, guys that would never make a, a international squad, being able to compete against the best in the world. Um, I think there would be enough um, revenue for those matches. It will be sold out, and it will also help the clubs um, gain some valuable financial means. Right, and then my last point is to make a global international window. How many times have we have we seen, for example, the Springboks taking on Wales at the end of the year tour, and they're not able to field their top team because it's outside the global international window, and the clubs have a say over the top players. Um, that would really improve uh, rugby overall, as um, I feel you should field your best international teams at any given time. Right, guys, that is all for today. Um, I hope I lifted some important details for you guys. Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think of it. Until next time, this is the Rugby Guru, just for now.